Hello stampers! Boy do I have a fun scene for you today. I'm using the trees out of the Peaceful Deer stamp set. So we'll be using this image. This is one of my favorite images. I've used it so much I think I've about worn it out. And we're going to be creating this card and this is a reflection card that's super easy to do. And I think you're going to be amazed at how simple this card is to create. And it looks like it has, it's really involved, but it's not when you break it down step by step. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to start with our main panel. And the main panel is three and a half by four and a half. Now you can find all the dimensions for this card down below this video. Just click show more and you'll see all the um, panel sizes down there along with the links to all the products that I used. And uh, those links will take you directly to my online store where you can shop 24-7. Now, like I said, our, we have a basic white panel that's 3.5 and by 4.5. And, and then on top of that I have a 2.5 inch circle. Now this is a double layer of post-it notes. And you can even use a two and a half inch punch. I use the die cut um, from the Larry and Circle dies and my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine um, to make my two and a half inch circles. So just remember to do a, a double layer and get as much out of that sticky part as you can to stick to your cardstock so that um, you have a nice mass there. Now that's for our moon. Now we're going to start putting our sky in first, and so we're going to get our sky colors going. And what we're going to do first is we're going to put Pool Party all over this cardstock. And I'm going to use the blending brush. And I'm just going to use a circular motion and put this Pool Party all over. This is like our base coat, really. You see some of it in the middle of the card but it'll help blend with the other colors that we're going to put on. So I'm just putting it all over the cardstock. Now if you did notice, um, this mask, this moon mask here, is a little above the halfway point. There's more room down here than there is up here. So um, that's so that we can get more of our water area in. Okay, so there's our pool party on. Our next color is going to be Tahitian Tide. So I'm going to use a blending brush for this too. And this Tahitian Tide I'm going to do about, let's see, about a third of the way on this moon. So I kind of look and I'm saying that this is the top third here and that's where I want my color at. That way we're not covering all of that um, pool party that we put on. This Tahitian Tide is such a pretty color. Okay, so we have it up there and now when we put it on down here we're just going to catch just the bottom, uh, I'm going to say a fourth of an inch of the moon mask as we go across. That way we have, like I said, that pool party showing. And then we'll bring it down. There we go. Okay. And next we're going to bring out our Pacific Point ink. And this I'm going to put on and I'm not going to cover up all of that Tahitian Tide. Just make sure you're not covering that all up. So this goes at the top. 
And then we're also going to bring it in at the bottom here. Again, being careful not to cover up all of our Tahitian Tide. Work those pretty colors together. Okay, so that was our Pacific Point. We're gonna get darker yet. And we're gonna bring in a Knight of Navy. And we're gonna put that at the bottom. Get a little darker down here at the very bottom. And we're gonna put it at the very top too. There we go. And that gives us our night sky look like when you get that real dark in there. Okay, Knight of Navy. All right, now we're gonna take this moon mask off. And I'm gonna grab a post-it note that's three by five. I'm gonna use a double layer because I wanna make sure that I definitely don't have anything that's the ink that soaks through there. So I'm gonna cover up the bottom third of that moon and try to have this as straight as possible when you put it on your cardstock. Otherwise you look like your your water's gonna look like it's going downhill. So you want it straight across. There we go. And I'm gonna take one more post-it note. I have the sticky part up here and I'm gonna rip this bottom edge up here. And I'm gonna make some uh, mountain shapes here, large and small. Um, no two are gonna be alike. There we go. And I just, some jagged edges there. And this is going to be our mountain mask. We're gonna use the negative sp space for this. And I think I want it like right here. And our mountains are going to be done in Starry Sky ink. I like this purpley blue for these mountains. So I'm just going to make sure I hold my mask down as I'm doing this. And I'm just using a circular motion here. Getting our mountains in. You want this fairly dark. And you can peek underneath. See, there's our mountains. Looks nice, huh? Okay, so we have that. And now I'm gonna stamp some trees in. And I'm gonna stamp them using Memento Tuxedo Black. And I'm using this large tree. I think Sadie's been up here on my desk. I can always tell when the cat's visited. Okay, so um, we're using a large tree out of this set. This set has um, a bunch of different sizes, but this is the image we're using. And I'm just gonna ink up the tree part. I'm not worried about the tree trunk because we're not gonna stamp that far um, down. And this first tree, I wanna put right on the edge of that moon. That kind of disguises where the moon might show through the mountains a bit. So see how I've lined that up there with the edge of the moon? I'm gonna add another one. And I think I'm going to add it like right here. And I've got this a little lower this time. So there's our two trees on that side. I'm gonna ink this up again. And I'm gonna put a tree here. And again, I'm going to um, 
put a couple here at the sides of this. At different heights. And there's our trees. Okay, so now I'm going to just take a blending brush and this Memento Tuxedo Black and I'm using um, just the tip of the brush. I'm going to add some ink on it and I'm adding that along the bottom of those trees. This like gives us uh, the look of like a beach or some foliage at the base of them. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna take this mask off and I'm going to get a clear sheet. Now this is just a plastic sheet that came out of my Stampin' Up! stamps. You could use a window sheet for this also. Um, but this is just the sheet that um, the clear stamps come on. So I'm going to use that and I'm just going to place this over my images at the top here and I have like a sixteenth of an inch of that black showing beneath the plastic. And that's so we don't get a ghost line. And we're going to take that same tree, I'm going to clean it, my stamp off a bit here, and we're going to use Smoky Slate with this. And when we stamp this, we're just going to stamp this tree upside down. Now that plastic is going to keep the ink from going on my uh, upper part of my card here. But then I can still see the tree so I can line things up. So I have Smoky Slate here and I'm going to just <coughs> go over that first tree and they don't have to be the same height as the ones that you did earlier. I just try to be consistent but it, at least you can see where your trees are to be able to stamp them that way. Okay and here we have a taller one And we need two more. These are shorter guys. And there is our reflection trees. And it was as easy as that. Okay, so I'm removing that plastic. Now I'm going to bring in some white. This is Whisper White. You want a nice inked up pad for this. I just put some ink on mine. And we're going to use that snowflake stamp. Now you can also just put dots in your sky if you just want stars. That would be nice if we kind of showed some snow. So I'm going to stamp these up here. You don't really see them over the moon. So there is that. Now on the bottom I'm going to do the same thing. Only I'm going to um, stamp off once and then stamp on because things on, your, on the bottom, the reflective side, need to be much lighter. So there we have those down there. Okay, moving right along here. Now I do want some color on my moon and I'm going to bring in Pool Party and Tahitian Tide for this. I'm going to start with the Pool Party. I'm going to get my blending brush back out here and I'm going to add some to the tip of my blending brush and I'm just going to kind of mix blotches on that moon. Kind of 
makes it look like um, you got some type of surface you can see on the moon here. So again, this is pool party. Now my next color, I'm going to use Tahitian Tide and do the same thing. Just going to add some splotches with the end of my blending brush. And that dolls down that big bright moon a bit there. There we go. Alright, now we need some um, highlights in our tree, but first I'm going to darken the centers of my trees a bit. Um, especially where they're over the, the moon part, because they seem to be so light there. So I'm just adding some black to the center of those trees. I'm not coloring the whole tree in, just the center of the trees. There we go. And I just did that to the upper ones. Didn't do anything to the bottom ones. And that was with the uh, Stampin' Blends. This is the Dark Basic Black. All right, now we need some highlights. So I'm grabbing a Signo white gel pen. And um, just a little tip when you use your gel pen, keep your cap in your hand. Don't stick it on the end because that, that'll keep you from laying your pen down. Um, because if you lay your pen down with the cap on this end, it's going to dry out on you. So I'm just adding some highlights on the left side of the trees that are on the right side. I know that's confusing, right? And the trees on the left side, we're going to add our little highlights down the right side of the trees. And if you can't see where the tree is, just kind of make it up. Nobody know. There we go. And we got this last little tree over here. So there's our highlights down our tree. Now I want some um, water lines for some sparkle. So I'm just going to add some short little lines. And I'm just going back and forth across my cardstock here. Just adding some lines. And I've tried to do them different lengths, different places. And if you do this quickly, it looks better than if you just take your time. Because if you take your time, what's going to happen is they are going to look um, very intentional. There we go. So there's our water lines. And that is our scene. How about that? All done. So now we just need to put our card together. And I'm going to flip my scrap paper over here. That way I don't get any of that color on my white cardstock. That is a good practice. Okay, so we have our main image panel here. And I'm going to back this with a, another basic white panel. And this panel is just an eighth of an inch larger than this one. So this is 3 and 5 eighths by 4 and 5 eighths. And I'm going to use some multi-purpose glue here. And glue mine on. You use whatever adhesive you'd like. Just going to center it on that cardstock. There we go, and that just gives you a little framed white edge, and this is going to pop um, because we are going to put it over some starry sky cardstock. So I have my main card here that is um, five and a half by eight and a half. It's basic white, and I fold it in half to create my quarter card. On the front here, I have a starry sky panel that's four by five point two five. On the inside, I have another starry sky panel that's the same size, 4 by 5.25. And on top of that, I have a basic white panel that's 3 and 3 quarters by 5. 
And then we're just going to center up our main panel here on our card. Now you can put as much bling and whatever on your card as you'd like. Um, these big scenes like this, I tend to just let the scene shine and don't goop it up with a bunch of stuff. Um, that's just my style. Okay, so there is that. And then we, I have two little pieces that I cut here. And these are a fourth of an inch by one inch. And I cut two of them. And they're just going to go at the sides here. I'm just going to glue them on. And I'm going to bring that out to the actual white card base. I just want to make sure I have it on straight. There we go. And I'll put one on the other side. And this is just a little bit of something to break up that big panel just a bit. But it doesn't distract from it. So let's make sure we have that on straight. A little bit there. Okay. So there is our two little strips on there and now I'm just going to add a little bit of bling. And I'm going to bring in the 2022-2024 in color. These are matte decor decorative dots and they're self-adhesive. So I just need to open them up. And I'm putting on um, the Starry Sky ones that match our card here. I'm going to grab my Pick-A-Tool. And I'm going to put one of the large ones on here. And I'm going to do the same thing on each side. And then I'm going to put a small one on. On each side there. Now you can certainly put a sentiment on the sides. Or one across the bottom. We have plenty of room down here. I just wouldn't advise covering up your uh, any of your your reflection there because that is the main point of this scene. Okay, so there is our finished card. It's all done, and I hope you enjoyed this card and that you give it a try. When you break it down step by step, it's so easy to do. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Bye.